हेलो आई एम मंदार सॉल्यूशन सेल्स मैनेजर लुकिंग आफ्टर लाइफ साइंस सॉल्यूशंस फॉर साउथ एशिया टुडे आई विल वॉक यू थ्रू ऑन हाउ टू डेवलप नॉवेल एंड इनोवेटिव सिंथेटिक आउट यूजिंग रिएक्सिस प्रिडिक्टिव रिट्रोसिंथेसिस वी हैव डिजाइन न्यू कैंडिडेट्स फॉर टेस्टिंग अगेंस्ट एस सी डी वन विद सिलेक्टिविटी ओवर एस सी विच विल हेल्प प्रिवेंट टाइप टू डायबिटीज based on our target specific sar analysis we need to deliver these new candidates for testing as quickly as possible the two new designs are in front of you captured on the slides so to develop a fast robust and ideally scalable routes to the target molecules from easily accessible starting materials we need to take help of reaxis predictive photosynthesis for that we need to first copy the smile string into the structure window of the reaxis predictive retrosynthesis tool then adjust the parameters in the retrosynthesis features to meet to our requirements once we do that we can hit the synthesis button and we have to wait for almost 5 to 7 minutes to receive the results once we have the results we can review the results and then we can share the routes with our team by exporting into various formats now let's go to the reaxis.com to obtain synthetic routes so once you are into reaxis.com you have to hit the retrosynthesis tab once we are into retrosynthesis tab you will actually see the landing page of the respective users as as i have logged into my uh, with my name you will see all the projects under my name and it is specific to the user only then you can click the draw and uh, button and then you can copy paste smiles directly into the structure window once you have the structure in place you can actually play around with the various parameters in the predicted section so you can click edit and once you click edit you have the option to choose either the retrosynthetic way with the last step option only wherein you can go step by step back backwards toward to the starting materials or you can choose the full routes you have options to get or receive more than 100 routes at a time then you have other parameter of diversity of routes which will allow to play around with the diversity in this particular case i have default function of 3 and 3 the 3 for identical reaction steps per project that means that if you have more than 10 routes then the reaction step for each route will be only repeated 3 times out of those 10 routes and similar way if you have chosen 3 here as the identical building blocks per project then the building blocks or the starting materials for every route will only get reported 3 times out of those 10 routes if you get the results of 10 routes then one can play around with the processing time ranging from 2 to 30 minutes max is 30 minute what we have observed that within 5 to 7 minutes we will be able to obtain the synthetic routes for medium complexity molecules then one can play around with the building block libraries one can select or deselect the building block libraries of their own choice and one can also play around with the cheaper starting materials and the tier 1 suppliers in combination with that if they want to receive those starting materials within one week of time so if you choose say build building block from tier 1 suppliers and also us dollar 200 per gram then you can get the synthesis route with the cheaper starting material and also the starting material available will be actually supply to you faster you can then hit synthesize button once you hit synthesize button the tool will then actually run through the retrosynthesis process once the retrosynthesis process is done you will able to see those routes in front of you like the one which you can see here directly you can edit the name of the project as per your need and you can actually name them based on your requirement you can then review your synthetic routes which i have already done it in another tab so you can click the review button once you see all the routes you can also see the number of steps the divergence and convergence of synthetic route and the confidence score of each and every synthetic predicted routes you can then click tree view to actually go into the retrosynthesis routes on the left hand panel you have the synthetic sequence and on the right hand side you have the steps or the reaction procedures or the related references for each and every step in this particular case 
there is a first alkylation of the pyrazole followed by acid amine coupling and once the acid amine coupling is in place you have the final molecule in place you can actually directly copy the route and directly paste into the chem drop window or you can choose to export the route in various format as well so once you hit the export button you can then select pdf format word format electronic lab notebook so if you want to integrate directly into elns you can do the same way and then you can hit the export button and it will get exported you can once once the export process is complete you can save it to the desired folder